A lambda by 2 long 50 ohm transmission line is connected to a generator of internal impedance 75 ohms. The load impedance that should be connected to minimize the reflections is 50 ohm, 75 ohm, 25 ohm and 125 ohm. Given the length of the transmission line is lambda by 2. So, let us say this is the transmission line whose length is lambda by 2 and the characteristic impedance of the transmission line is 50 ohms that is Z O equal to 50 ohm. Given the generator is having an internal impedance of 75 ohms which means I will place a generator here V G whose internal impedance is 75 ohm. So, this is 75 ohm and I am going to connect this to the transmission line. At the end I am going to place a load and the question is what should be the value of Z L in order to get minimum reflections on the transmission line. Since V G is the voltage at the source let us say due to the internal impedance there exists a drop here and let us say the voltage which is here is input voltage that is V in. From this circuit I can write V in equal to V G multiplied with input impedance of the transmission line by input impedance of the transmission line plus Z G internal impedance of the generator. Now, here we require the value of Z in the distance between this point and this point is lambda by 2. On a transmission line if you travel a distance of lambda by 2 the normalized impedance repeats itself that means the impedance that you are going to observe at this point is same as the impedance which is available here. Therefore, I can write this equation as V G multiplied with instead of Z in I will place Z L by Z L plus Z G. Now, you have three parts in this circuit. First part is the source part which is available here. Second part is the transmission line part which is available here and third part is the load part which is available here. Let us try to find out the reflection coefficient at the generator that is gamma g which is equal to Z o minus Z g by Z o plus Z g. We know that Z o is 50 minus Z g means 75 ohms by 50 plus 75 ohms which is equal to minus 25 by 125 which gives you minus 1 by 5. If you try to represent the magnitude, magnitude of gamma g equal to 1 by 5. In the same way if you observe the reflection coefficient at the load gamma l equal to z l minus z o by z l plus z o. Now, if you substitute the value of Z L as 50 ohms then 50 minus 50 by 50 plus 50 which gives you 0 that means there are no reflections at the load itself. If you go through the second option 75 minus 50 by 75 plus 50 which gives you 1 by 5. If Z L equal to 25 then 25 minus 50 by 25 plus 50 that is equal to 1 by 3 and the fourth option is if Z L equal to 125 125 minus 50 by 125 plus 50 that is equal to 0 0.428. In all these cases the minimum reflection is observed here. Therefore, the answer is 75 ohm. You might have a question if the load is 50 ohms then there is no reflection at all. Let us suppose if the load is 50 ohms then this value is 50 that means the input impedance which is available here is also 50 ohms because the length of the transmission line is lambda by 2 in this case. Then the equivalent circuit is Vg in series with 75 ohm which is connected to an equivalent impedance of 
50 ohm in this case. Since the load impedance is different from the source impedance in this case, you are not going to have maximum power transfer. That's why 50 ohm is not the correct answer. Therefore, the remaining option for us is ZL equal to 75 ohms. Therefore, option B is the answer for us. For more videos, subscribe our channel ECE Classroom.